I want to talk about AJ Foyt though, because AJ Foyt is obviously, you know, a motorsports legend, somebody that, you know, any international hall of fame or just motorsports hall of fame overall would absolutely be a lock. And Foyt is somebody who I think is, uh, you know, arguably the greatest IndyCar driver of all time yes. has experience in sports cars and is a Daytona 500 winner, but he only has seven cup wins. And you know who else has seven cup wins and one Daytona 500? Jamie McMurray. Is Jamie McMurray a Hall of Famer? That's something that I think not a lot of people uh, would, would put on his resume in terms of what his career looked like. Obviously, Foyt has recognition based on his name, but it is the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It's not the Motorsports Hall of Fame. So we look strictly at what Foyt did in NASCAR. In your opinion, is he a NASCAR Hall of Famer? Well, along with those seven wins, he also posted 36 top tens, according to his Wikipedia page, which is, as, as I know, as a uh, Wikipedia editor yourself, these are very accurate with no errors. Um, nine we poles as well. Accurate, but... Right. Yeah, I try to keep uh, other guys from messing it up. But yeah, um, his last race was 1994 at the Brickyard. And so, you know, he's been out of the Cup Series long enough for this sort of thing to um Instead of, you know, Matt Kenseth or Carl Edwards of how short that they, they've been gone away. But, um, yeah, A.J. Foyt, putting him into the NASCAR uh, the NASCAR Hall of Fame, it kind of reminds me of other Hall of Fames across other parts of culture. You look at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, some of the people they decide to put into there, you kind of wonder why why even make that consideration. Uh, people like Dolly Parton, they try to put her into the – they try to nominate Dolly Parton into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And uh, she she uh, kindly declined it because she thought she wasn't deserving of of that. But they put they've definitely put other people into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that didn't deserve to be there or didn't really fit the genre. You know, uh, oh my camera unplugged for some reason. Well, that's all right. We can we can hear what you're saying. Keep talking. Yeah, that's okay. But yeah, I think AJ Foyt. Yeah, he doesn't exactly fit the mold with the rest of these nominees. But uh, I think people are looking more at what he did overall for motorsports, you know, he's uh, the, only, you know, of course the only one to win all the crown jewels, the Indy 500 Daytona 500, 24 hours of Daytona, 24 hours of Le Mans and 12 hours of Sebring um, on the international scale. He's a, he's a mega star. He's the goat, but uh, maybe for the NASCAR hall of fame, that may be his, his claim to fame for being in there is just his, his overall contribution to motorsports it would look weird 100 years from now if we didn't have A.J. Foyt in the NASCAR Hall. Yeah, and well, that was something that uh, Aaron Creed, who we follow each other on Twitter, um, he just responded with that. You know, I put this poll out and got 26 votes. 54% said, yes, A.J. Foyt is a NASCAR Hall of Famer. 46% said no. And I think that that's the biggest argument, both for and against Foyt, is that, you know, he obviously has a name recognition for what he did uh, for motorsports, generally speaking. But... Strictly speaking, as a as a NASCAR Hall of Famer, you know, when you look at what Foyt did, uh, you know, it's it's not exactly eye popping numbers or, or Hall of Fame esque stats like you would uh, expect to see on a NASCAR Hall of Fame resume. And again, you know, for my money, I think Foyt is arguably the greatest IndyCar driver of all time. He has 67 wins to Mario Andretti's 52. He has seven IndyCar championships to Mario Andretti's four. And it's the really big one that everybody knows is he has four Indy 500s to Mario Andretti's lone Indy 500. So on those numbers alone, you know, a lot of times that's the that's the debate in IndyCar. Is it Foyt or Andretti? I think Foyt wins all the statistical categories over there. Mm -hmm. um, but we're talking specifically NASCAR here. And, you know, if, again, if it were a motorsports hall of fame, you'd obviously take all of that into consideration. But you only take what's sanctioned by NASCAR into consideration here. I just don't know that Foyt has the resume, again, right now at least, to compete with the McGriffs and the Moody's and, uh, you know, other pioneers that are on this list. You know, Sam Ward, you think of what he did at the start of the modern day Xfinity series. I think, uh, I don't know if he's going to get in over uh, the people he's up against, but I think he's certainly deserving of, of a Hall of Fame mention. But Foyt, to me, as, as crazy as it sounds to be talking about a, a icon and legend of motorsports like that, if you look at it objectively, it's a very modest uh, statistical resume to be putting up against the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And I, I would just caution people maybe to not let that let Foyt's uh, status in motorsports overall get in the way of, of considering whether or not he goes into the Hall of Fame.